What is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to TV and me. I'm of course Kevin and it's time for The Walking Dead. It is time for your second episode on this Walking Dead Sunday and for me it's actually the day after the previous episode. Um, I managed to watch that last episode again. I picked up on a few other things from the episode but you know it's still devastating. It's still quite raw with uh, Tyrese dying. Um, what I did like about that episode though was the way it was more it was more of an artistic episode, if I can say that. It was it was more, like I said in the previous review, abstract. And, you know, I don't mind those sorts of episodes if they're every now and again and they're spaced out. But uh, I did enjoy it, despite what happened in that episode with Noah and with Tyrese. And um, I'm hoping this next episode no one dies in this one. Because if that is the case, that will be three in a row. And, uh, you know what they say, three strikes and... I'm out. I'm only joking, of course. I would not do that to you, and I wouldn't do it to me. I'm too addicted to this show to uh, quit it now. So, you know, I'm in for the long haul. I'm in for the misery. I'm in for the deaths, and uh, I'm just going to have to get used to it. But um, do a quick recap of last episode. Firstly, of course, Tyrese died, which was just horrible. I didn't like that one bit, but, uh, you know, that's the world. Like I always say, they live in, and death is just a part of everyday life, unfortunately. So... We lost Tyrese, we found out Noah lost his family, they're no longer alive, in fact he had to kill one of his younger brothers, which no doubt is going to have some sort of effect on him, but uh, I'm hoping that he's now with Rick's group, he's now got this other family with him, that they help him through the whole ordeal, especially straight after Beth as well for him, so hopefully he can get through it, hopefully things work out, and hopefully now they're on their way to Washington, They'll meet up with Morgan at some point, which would be really cool. So, let's get straight into the episode. I don't want to hang about for too long. I want to get straight into this. So, this is Season 5, Episode 10. Oh, fuck. Are they resorted to eating grubs and stuff now? Fuck. Don't say they're starting to starve. So no food, no water, dealing with the deaths of Beth and Tyrese. How much longer we got? 60 miles. I wasn't talking about that. 60 miles? 60 miles until Washington, I take it. It's been three weeks since Atlanta. I know you lost something back there. Three weeks already. She's hungry. I need to find water. Food. It's gonna rain sooner or later. I know you're in pain. I don't know shit. You had a job. You were there to save your flock, right? But you didn't. You hid. <sighs> the thing is, even if they find food, they need so much because there's so many of them. I guess that's part of the problem with being in a bigger group, but you need it for safety. That's a great shot though. That was an awesome shot. Anything? No, it's too dry. There ain't nothing here. Maybe we should start back. You go. I think she saved my life. She saved your life too, right? I'm not dead. What you said. I know you. You have to let yourself feel it. Oh, fuck. Don't you dare bite anyone else. Trying to get them all down into the ditch. Stay in line. Flag her. Keep in control. I told you to stop. Don't do it, Sasha. She's got plenty to be angry about, but at the same time, like I say, or like Michonne says, anger makes you stupid. 
I truly do not know if things can get worse. Oh, don't say that, Eugene, fuck's sake. They can. Yeah. Holy shit. Well, there's dinner. If they can fucking get them before they get there. I mean, that's a cut really... Any other circumstance, I would not eat a dog. But in this situation, I think they get a pass. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Then you won't. Don't think. Just eat. is adapting. I don't know if I want to hide it anymore. You do. You do. That's who you are. And maybe it's a curse nowadays. But I don't think so. We fought to be here. And we have to keep fighting. Where you're going? Here was gonna make things worse. You with friends. We're not friends. Just to see if he's still alive, I guess. If he still feels, maybe. Damn it. Oh, Daryl. Fuck. You know what they say, better out than in. But I, for one, would like to think it is indeed from a friend. What if it isn't? You put something in it. Eugene! What are you doing, dude? Quality assurance. The fuck? Abraham does care he about can't. you, Jesus. Unless that's just a reflex. It's rain. Rain! We're gonna have water! Small moments make the suffering worth it, I guess. Maggie and Sasha are struggling, and Daryl. I'm sorry, my lord. Everybody, get the bags. Anything you can find. Come on. I asked my grandpa once if he ever killed any Germans in the war. He said that was grown-up stuff, so... So I asked if the Germans ever tried to kill him. He said he was dead the minute he stepped into enemy territory. Every day he woke up. Told himself, rest in peace. Now get up and go to war. And then after a few years of pretending he was dead, he made it out alive. And that's the trick of it, I think. We do what we need to do. And then we get to live. We tell ourselves that we are the walking dead. He said the show name. Lay down. Why not? Oh, for fuck's sake, seriously. If you needed a better metaphor for they're stronger together than alone, there you go. He was tough. He was. 
so she she didn't know it. But she was. Oh fucking hell. Well, there's that luck I was on about. Holy holy shit. Was there a tornado? Look at this. Holy fuck. Noah, that kid. He said he didn't know if he can make it. That's how I feel. You're gonna make it. Both of us, we will. Hey. Hi. Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt. Good morning. My name is Aaron. I know. It's strange or danger, but um, I'm a friend. So he's the one that left the water? I, I'd like to talk to the person in charge. Rick, right? How the fuck? I have good news. Balls! Holy shit. Holy shit. No one died. No one died. I thought for sure they would kill someone else off in this episode. Just just to get it free in a row, you know what I mean? Just to make me feel even more awful. To make me feel even more sad. Even more despair. I thought that was something they would do. But, you know, even though this episode was all about despair. You know, questioning if you want to survive in this world. Just misery. I'm happy because no one died. And also, it seems as though there's a lifeline coming towards them. I mean, we saw that in this episode they had no food. They had no uh, water. They had no shelter. And, you know, it looked like everything was just not going their way. And in the space of not long, in the last 10 or 20 minutes, we saw them get food with the dogs. Which, I've got to say again... I don't condone eating dogs or pets, but if you're in that situation, you get a pass. Um, they got water from the rain, and then they got shelter in the barn. Even more lucky than that, they survived a tornado. Or what I believe was a tornado, which ripped all those trees up and got rid of the walkers outside the barn. And somehow it completely missed the barn. So, even though this episode to start off with was just miserable and sad and depressing, the second half of it was all about lifelines getting handed to you whether it's the rain whether it's the wild dogs for me whether it's you know a tornado narrowly missing you and then to top it off we had that last bit of good news of someone coming up and approaching Sasha and Maggie and again the guy looks good he comes across as nice and I say this about everyone but we've know you know that nine times out of ten these people turn out to be bad they turn out to be people that want what you've got they want something from you nothing is free and in some cases i understand that but to the degree people in the past have gone with the termites eating people with you know the governor manipulating people and killing people just because he wants to because he wants control or you know the people at the hospital you know deliberately running people down just so they could have workers work for them for free do you know what i mean it's just it's always something bad with the people you meet and i'm just hoping i'm hoping beyond hope that this guy we've just met he probably said his name i can't remember what he said but i'm hoping that this is going to be the first person that actually offers a lifeline to rick and the group someone who doesn't have bad intentions someone who does have a working mini society so to speak you know a town where there are good people, you know, they have to do the things they have to do, but there's not somebody working or manipulating people, working against you, trying to always undermine you. I'm hoping that this is a good guy who can help them. I mean, the last people we saw like that was Herschel and the farm, I believe. I mean, we had Gabe in the church as well, but he was one man just surviving on his own. Whereas on the farm, at least they had food, they had water, they had shelter, they had relative safety until everything went to shit. But... Oh man, 
I just hope that this guy is a piece of luck. Much like they had all that luck in the second half of this episode, like I say, I hope that he is the piece of luck this group need. Also in this episode, we saw that, you know, we saw Maggie was struggling with everything. We saw Sasha was struggling with everything. We saw Daryl was struggling with everything. We saw Abraham is struggling with everything. You know, Gabe is struggling with everything as well. Even though he seems to, you know, he put his dog collar inside the, in the fire, sorry. And it seemed as though he was saying goodbye to those beliefs he had before not so much believing in god but just the strict code of you know not killing the walkers or not doing what you have to do to survive maybe he's adapting but you know the others they're all struggling with different things abraham with the fact you know he no longer has a mission even though there was that one moment where eugene went to drink the water because he was thirsty and abraham smashed it out of his hand to protect him whether that's because it's old reflexes because he's been doing that for so long or whether he just does gen genuinely care for Eugene which is a possibility um I don't know but uh you know he's struggling and we've got um Maggie who's struggling you know she had to deal with the death of her father now her sister but I feel Maggie's more secure because she still has Glenn Glenn is there to support her and I feel like she can get through it whereas Sasha She's a bit of a loose cannon at the minute. Even though at the end there it did seem like she was coming around a bit. She's dealing with anger. Which we all know we saw with Tyrese when he was angry. He got stupid. And stupid gets you killed. Stupid gets the people around you killed. So anger is a pretty useless emotion at this point. So she needs to stop that. And uh, apart from that everyone else you know. They're seemingly, they're seemingly getting on. They're moving forward. Um. I did got to say as well, I did like that one story Rick told about his, I think he said his grandfather, how his grandfather said that every morning he would wake up and just say goodbye, you know, tell himself rest in peace every day and just go out and do what he had to do and then every morning he would do that till eventually the war was over and I see how Rick is looking at that, he's saying, you know, we can do bad stuff now because the bad stuff is a means to the end you know it helps us survive i know we question it i know we don't like it but sometimes you have to do this stuff in order to get to the end in order to get to the end of the war we just have to do it and you know even though there's some instances like i say where i disagree with what rick does especially with bob 2.0 that is um running him down i understand the mentality he has at this point and he's just trying to survive. And he's trying to pass it on to everyone else. The only one really against that in this episode was of course Daryl. Who said he didn't want to be like them. But I understand. I understand where he's coming from. I understand where Rick's coming from. It's just different people. Different opinions. Different ways of surviving. I think everyone is individual in this world. You have to survive how you can survive. But I think there's one overall truth in all this. And that is... You're better off together. I mean, we saw, I even said in the reaction, we saw visually why they are better when they're together rather than separate. And that was that moment where we saw the walkers approaching the barn and the winds were howling in. And if there was one of them there, they couldn't have kept that door closed. They would have died and got overrun. If there was two there, they wouldn't. If there was three there, they wouldn't. If there was four there, they wouldn't. But because they were all together... Because they are in this together, they were able to hold that door closed and survive another day. So, I love it. It was an amazing image and an amazing moment. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, like I say, the man who approached Maggie and Sasha is someone who is finally going to give them a lifeline. And that was about it. So, you know, they're on their way to Washington, I believe. Um, they're not far away now, I don't think. I think they said in this episode... Oh, I can't remember what they said now. It was either... I think it was 60 miles they said. It was probably less than that. But um, they're close anyway or they're getting closer. And maybe when they arrive at this place where they're heading with this guy. If he is good he can give them some sort of supplies and they can move on. Because you know you've heard me say it like a million times now. But if they stay there I feel like inevitably the place is going to fall. Things are going to go bad and uh, people will die. So hopefully they can go there maybe stay a week or two get supplies and then move on move forward because 
they need to find their own place they need to find proper safety with uh hopefully military or something or you know just something secure i hope eventually in this series there is somewhere which is finally safe because like i say so many sanctuaries we've seen so many sanctuaries we've seen fall and it would be nice to see a place survive a place to stay strong and maybe some sort of civilization started or society i should say where there is law there is order and uh, they can finally sleep without one eye open at night let's leave that there so until next time thank you for watching guys and girls i really appreciate it and until then bye bye thank you for watching the walking dead weekend with me if you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up because it helps me and it helps the channel grow also if you've got any thoughts or fears about the episode remember you can leave them in the comment section below but please no spoilers. If you'd like to support me even more than you do now, you can find me on Patreon, where for as little as $1 a month, you can take part in Patreon polls or even get early access to my videos. And finally, if you want to keep up to date with the channel, you can find me on Twitter at TV and me reacts, or you can subscribe.